What's going on guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to Vampire Part 30. Uh, on the last episode, we made it to the theater and we were fighting Doris and she messed us up. You killed my father! So Repent. we're gonna Your try again. Is shaking. I smell your fear. Ah! On guard! Touche! And I realize I'm not talking very much right now, but this one is actually really hard. Dude, she just messes me up. Stunner at all. She just messes me up. this again. You gotta let me get up. Oh, 
Get away. Arise and save your queen, my Oh, yes. Uh, wait. I beg you, wait. What? I I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? <laughs> no, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be dis- Look at that thing! But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <sighs> Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Don't I get to embrace her at least and get the experience points, man? Farewell. I love it! McCullum! How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. Good, because I am not in the mood for another fight right now. I leave the theater right now. Okay, well, you're going to hang on for half a second because that was very difficult. <clears throat> and I want to see what we this we picked up here. 140 damage, which we're doing 96. Yeah, way better. Let's check out the details on it. Um, we can even upgrade it already. Uh, well, let's equip it first. For sure. Now. Oh, I thought, man, we need a used saber part? The hell do you find a used saber part? Oh, we're already up here to level four. Okay. It won't let me do that right now, though. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> we need to get to a, uh, a safe house to our... Back to our home. It's locked. Um, the West End should be safe now. But London. The West End? Yeah, we're we'll back here. This is our house, right? Yeah. It's still telling me. Escape the theater, that's all. If not, um, it would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. Let's get out of here. That fight was so difficult for me. I hope you guys are having an, uh, an easier time of it. Um, I did that fight, you saw the last time, and then I did it twice more before this one. So this is my fourth attempt at beating her. I finally did it. Unreal. It's very difficult.
for the setup that I have. Um, maybe you guys are using some different um, uh, power weapons and all that kind of you know special abilities, that type of stuff uh, that, that made it easier. I don't know. Put put it in the comments if you did for sure. Because uh, like I said, that would be difficult. Also, I apologize if I'm a little, like I said, during that fight, I just wasn't talking very much. And one, because it was hard. And two, you probably heard my voice, too. I have not had much sleep lately. Um, kind of a combination of doing these videos and then I get them all done. And it takes forever to get uh, for them. Uh, see, I can't speak. <laughs> for me to get them uploaded because of the Internet uh, situation here. Like I said, Saturday... Uh, got the cable people coming and we're bumping it way up from where it is now so that's very good news but <clears throat> I'll record four or five videos um, in a day but that means so if I get them even recorded by 10 a.m. that lasts not even the last one usually I'll have one to start the next day but um, usually like at four o'clock in the morning my time one of them's due up, and I want to get them out to you guys These as soon as possible. Dead. I need to leave now. Yeah, we need to go down through there, I guess. Um, so I've been really trying hard to get these out to you guys. Like I said, as, uh, as quick as I can. And on top of that, uh, we have to go this way. Oh, we got no, I thought you said it was fine here now. So Doris just needed to be close to her feelings to me. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Okay, we're on... I'm gonna have a look at that. We're on the fifth chapter. And like I said, I believe... Uh, I believe there are six total chapters. So... Um, that's good. We're getting further and further. Uh, you could probably hear my dog making some noise. That was the other part of this uh, situation at the moment. I just want to get out of here. I don't even want to fight you guys right now. I'm just gonna go. You guys cool with that? No, this is not gonna be that easy. Oh boy. Christ, he's dead. And another vampire. Um, there's a, a lot of construction going on here at my, where I live in this, this apartment um, complex. And it's seven o'clock in the morning, every morning. I'm not gonna talk into you right now. We gotta go, we gotta go home for a minute. Between men and women. I think it's down this way, our house. No, I totally passed right by it. Should we just go? Die too in this war. Let's just go to the club. Um, but there's massive trucks, uh, earth movers, all that kind of stuff. It like shakes my bed in the morning. It's just like a constant, like a, almost like it's vibrating. And the noise starts and it's, like I said, a bunch of trucks down there and they're all beep, 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 beep. I mean, it never stops. And it's pretty much right outside my bedroom window. And um, for whatever reason, you know when your smoke detector, the battery's low, like every 30 seconds it'll beep? It terrifies my dog. By the way, <clears throat> you'll notice down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a little picture of Sandy there. You wanna subscribe? Just pat Sandy and you'll be subscribed. Um, but she trembles. I mean, she shakes and it's like a violent shaking, like she's scared out of her mind. Um, 
So I think the sound of the trucks backing up, that beeping, reminds her of uh, the um, the smoke detector sound. As long as I've been sound. a member, I've never seen so few vampires attending the club nights. Okay. I can't even do that right now. I just got here, and now it's telling me to leave? Always a pleasure to see you, sir. Always. Oh, there's Lady Ashbury. Right? Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Very good. I don't know why it was telling me to leave out there. Maybe that's just the front door that they're talking about. I'm sure I'll find him upstairs. Or is this his office, maybe? But anyhow, <clears throat> so when she gets scared like that and she's trembling, it, it wakes me up, obviously. And um, I just have to take her out right away. And then she realizes it's the trucks and it's not the fire alarm. For some reason, that l lets her calm down. I, I don't know why, but... Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I did my best. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. Oh no, he said he didn't want to. I'm sorry. But I can't. Are you questioning my orders? No. It's just... I'm not sure I'm ready to have another progeny after what happened with my sister. The rebirth of Aloysius Dawson is a necessary step in our campaign to ensure the safety of London. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Mm, yeah, I have questions, but... Your word is my command. I don't feel like asking him right now, to be honest. Um, where does he live? Oh, all the way over there. That's not that far. Oh, this is... Fu we'll finally see the park. But we do need to go to our house, and... Uh, we repel the intruders for now. Okay. But how long before they return? Uh, we do need to go to our place, and... Are you all right, Jonathan? Upgrade. Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? Uh, yeah. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. Yeah, to make why an do you immortal think I asked? of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? 
Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Please, tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor souls survive at all. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Well, I don't think she's being vindictive, so... I'm not gonna ask her about that. Uh, aye, 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 aye. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the Reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. Okay, I, I don't think she's being vindictive, so I'm Are not going to sure ask. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William yeah, Marshall, he, who lived some nine centuries. He said ago. that. That's he a said lie. That. Lord Redgrave. I was just trying to get to back to the point where skulls, if the, poor uh, survive at all. the only other, other option that we had left was there. You go. Why so vindictive? I didn't know if something else was going to open up. Uh, I'm not going to ask her about that because, again, I don't think she's Goodbye being vindictive. Now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please be careful. So, <clears throat> we're not turning him, obviously. Um, I do wonder... Was this the basement door? I don't remember. Let's just get to our place for now. Um... Anyhow, so, like, just to finish up what I was saying earlier, so I've had, you know, each night I've had somewhere between two and three hours of sleep uninterrupted, and during the day I'll usually get, like, a 45-minute nap in, something like that. Um, so, like, as I'm sitting here playing through this, like, the screen is, like, <laughs> it's almost like it's vibrating. I'm so tired. My eyes are just exhausted. And I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, so sorry for that little, you know, uh, that vocal fry action going on there. Just can't be helped. And then uh, <clears throat> tonight, uh, I'm starting a new game. I'm going to finish this one, don't worry, but I might take a day or two off of it um, just to start the um, a new series. You'll see it on the channel. Um, Tomorrow, if you're seeing this the, the day this comes out, you'll see the new series starting very late tonight or tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a very big change of pace uh, to this one. <laughs> but like I said, I'm definitely going to finish this, especially since we're so close now. Um, also, I'm just enjoying this game. I, I like it. I think it's fun. Um... It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. So let's talk to our buddy here again real quick. Are you all right? 
I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. He's saying the same stuff that he said last time. He's still healthy, though. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Well, I've discovered he's quite versed in occult knowledge. So I wrote him a letter asking him to finance my research about vampires. He never responded. Um, we never met his wife. What well, we haven't yet. She's in the social social uh, <laughs> social Tell me circle. What you have discovered about vampires, clowns. They've always been here, and if you search for long enough, you realize others know about these devils too. I'm not alone. So I was uh, hoping to what find out something about her. Who have you met? The guard of Prewin. The Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stoll, Ichabod Throgmorton. Those names always pop up when you dig deep enough. Have you spoken with any of them? No. With the quarantine, it's almost impossible to leave the West End. But as a doctor, maybe you could, Johnny. Are you asking me to help you prove the existence of vampires, Clarence? Yes, Johnny. Please, gather all the information you can find about vampires and bring it to me. You're the only friend I have left. I need you. Have you shared your research with anybody else? No. He already said no. But I've published my leaflets all across the city, hoping that someday someone will realize I'm printing the truth. Okay. Uh, let's you need yeah, some rest. Let's leave him clients. for now. You should try to sleep. I don't know if I should, uh... I'm going the wrong way. I don't know if I should take him out or not. I mean, he's our friend. Women die too in this war! So it would be cool to do that. And he's not wrong. There's vampires about. I don't know if he's much of a threat to us, though. Oh, we got another fight. I just, I'm just i just trying to go home, pal. We're just gonna zip past him. Okay, we're getting... Uh, <laughs> getting severe delay lag again. That was remarkable. Who is that? Oh, it's just a scout. Uh, my, I, I jumped up there, right? <laughs> Guys, can't you leave me be? Imagine if I get beat by these guys right now. They're not that easy. But they're not that hard either. Alright, please let me just pick up your stuff. I'm just trying to go home. That's what I was looking for the whole time. Why don't I get to re- Oh, I have to make more... Uh, serums. I use them all. I can carry two, so we're making two. Um... 100 blood points. Better than that. Increase the st- I don't care about the stamina right now. 300 health points. That sounds amazing. How is that not the best one? Can we upgrade this? Can we go right to five? Let's bring it to level five. That's outstanding. It does 210 damage now. 
perfect saber. That's that's awesome. Can we bring this? No. We can decrease the stamina it takes to use. Oh no, we can't. Why can't we do that? Did I already? I already did it. Okay. So we just need more lead sticks. Uh, or maybe we have them here. You know what? I can do it from the end. I don't think we have that part anyway here to make more. So. Just double check super quick. Oh, it did make uh, three of them, so... Okay. That's fine to know. Um, I'm trying to let you guys see all the upgrades I do for the most part, just to... So you can uh, see exactly what we're working with each time we go into battle. I mean, it's really good, so it's an extra hundred damage. Let's just go ahead and do it, I guess. Maybe spend the rest on uh, some health. Blood capacity is good. Let's just do health, I think. Do we have enough? Enough for one. And that's all we got. Let's confirm that. And then we're going to hold it there, and we'll be back with part 31 uh, very soon. Thanks so much, guys.